Who knew Batman has a real son who is a prince and also a great ninja warrior? Everything started at the headquarters of the League of Assassins, in Nanda Parbat where Ra's al Ghul is grooming his preteen grandson, Damian Wayne, to succeed him as the League's head. They will be yours to command. Suddenly, Ra's al Ghul feels something strange happening and the League is attacked by a group of assassins led by Slade Wilson, a man whom Ra's al Ghul thought would be a worthy successor until he became aware of Bruce Wayne's reputation as Batman. Understanding the situation, Talia quickly hides Damien behind a cover and runs into battle with the enemy. Talia takes down number of enemies with her battle skills and climbs a guard tower to shoot arrows from a machine towards the helicopters. Ra's al Ghul fights many assassins and goes in search for the hidden enemy inside the palace. He finally meets with the leader of the pack, Slade, his second-hand man who betrayed him. During his battle with Slade who goes by the name Deathstroke, Ra's al Ghul is fatally burnt in an explosion which was perfectly planned by Deathstroke and al Ghul finally falls from a great height. This really prompts Damien's wrath, he stabs Slade in the right eye in the ensuing sword fight. As Slade flees, Damien and Talia try to find Ra's who was mortally injured. Ra's tries to reach the Lazarus Pit, which is able to heal a dying person while giving them short-term madness which he has done several times before, but this time dies before he can touch its waters. Talia then decides to take Damien to Gotham City to inform Damien's biological father about their situation. In Gotham City, Batman confronts Killer Croc, who has become addicted to steroids and grown a tail using mutagens. The fight is extremely lethal, and Killer Croc nearly kills Batman, but is subdued by Talia at the end. She informs Batman of her father's death and reveals their son's existence to him. Talia leaves Damien in Batman's care, Don't look so stunned, father. I thought you'd be taller. Hoping to protect him from Slade as the assassin aren't aware of Batman's identity or their romance. Batman takes Damien to the Batcave and introduces to Alfred. Damien appears to be critical about everything around him and Alfred says he reminds him the childhood days of Bruce Wayne. During his stay, Bruce recognizes that Damien is skilled. Damien harbors desires to avenge Ra's al Ghul's death by killing Slade, which Bruce immediately objects to, telling Damien never to kill. Ra's al Ghul had previously employed Dr. Kirk Langstrom to recreate and improve his man bat formula. Slade, now known as Deathstroke, captures Langstrom, along with his wife and daughter, and forces him to hasten his work. Meanwhile, Batman goes to Arkham Asylum with the Commissioner to see the Killer Croc. He forces the Croc and gets a lead from Killer Croc about the source of the mutagen. Batman goes to Langstrom's apartment. There, he finds a mutated ape-like creature and defeats it before the building is hit with a drone strike. After extinguishing the fire with a water tower, Bruce recovers a shuriken as the only piece of evidence, deducing Deathstroke's involvement. Elsewhere, Talia leads an attack on Deathstroke and his followers, but Talia and her team are defeated and captured. Back in Gotham City, against Batman's orders, Damien leaves the Batcave and hunts down Ubu, one of Deathstroke's minions. Damien gets no information on Deathstroke's whereabouts, even after he had brutally beaten Ubu. Afterwards Damien hunts him down the street and before Damien kills him, Nightwing arrives and intervenes, mistaking him for a criminal. He defeats Damien and brings him back to the Batcave. I have a kid here. Says he's your son. Though Nightwing himself receives a few injuries from Damien's sword. Batman berates Damien for his recklessness, willingness to kill and exposure of their investigation. He advises Damien to control his desire for revenge as Bruce does every day, doing what's right rather than easy. Batman decides to make Damien the new Robin in order to discipline him. Aided by a tip from Commissioner Gordon, the two head to an abandoned stadium from which Deathstroke's assassins are believed to be operating. At the stadium, Batman and Robin question Dr. Langstrom but are exposed when Damien is quick to resort to violence and are attacked by the assassins and several man-bats along the way. Batman and Damien take on the man-bats and bombs many of them. They take the scientist back to the Batcave, Dr. Langstrom reveals that Deathstroke wants to use the man-bat formula to create super-advanced, flight-capable assassins. 
While Nightwing works with Dr. Langstrom on a cure for the formula, Batman and Robin fly to a castle in Asia hoping to rescue Dr. Langstrom's family not knowing that it is also the place where Talia was held. During the rescue, Batman deduces Talia's abduction after finding signs of torture in an empty cell but doesn't tell Damien. Deathstroke has Langstrom's daughter discreetly give Robin a message in exchange for her life and that of her mother's, giving Robin his location for their fight in 48 hours until Talia's death. Make your mother proud. Nightwing learns that Deathstroke is operating in an oil rig off the coast of the United Kingdom and near Scotland which also belongs to his grandfather. While Batman's distracted by a conversation with Nightwing, Robin heads to the oil rig to find Talia. Damien dressed as Robin fights one-on-one -on -one with the assassins who are guarding the rig. He eventually finds both Talia and Deathstroke in a cave below the bottom of the ocean, Along with a swarm of resting man-bats and another Lazarus pit, the oil rig is being used to pump its fluids to sell. Robin pulls out a gun to kill Deathstroke, who holds one against Talia's head in response. Robin drops his weapon, but as Deathstroke fires his own gun at Robin, Talia leaps out and takes the shot, telling Damien to run. Just as Deathstroke corners Robin, Batman intervenes and Deathstroke orders the man-bats to attack. Batman wards them off with several sonar-emitting devices and Deathstroke flees. Robin chases after Deathstroke and Batman takes Talia into the Lazarus Pit. Nightwing and Dr. Langstrom arrive in the Batplane and cure the man-bats who are flying out of the oil rig of their mutations. Robin ultimately defeats Deathstroke after a brutal battle which injures Robin greatly, but refuses to kill Deathstroke, calling himself his father's son. No. I'm my father's son too. A swarm of man-bats overcrowd the elevator between the platform and Deathstroke's underwater base, destroying it and causing a flood. Talia recovers in the Lazarus pit and shares a romantic moment with Batman when the water seeps into the cave. Talia, Bruce and Damien leave via an escape pod and are rescued by Nightwing in the Batplane. Deathstroke drowns. Batman and Talia argue over custody of Damien, but Talia ultimately decides to let Batman take their son in and make him great. Batman and Robin watch as Talia leaves with the League of Assassins with Damien insisting, he drive the Batmobile to which Batman rebuffs his pleas just like before. The morale of this story is that no matter how you were brought up in your past, always believe in what's right and what's good in the world. Just like Robin didn't take the life of Deathstroke at the end as he believed it was wrong to take a life just like his Batman father taught him, we can always change for the better. Thank you for watching Second Look, and we hope you enjoyed the video. Let's meet again with another interesting recap. Until next time.